Scott, tonight that game felt like just three games in one. Did that feel the same way to you? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, but to me it was just a kind of a classic uh, jack jumper game, kind of a grinding game. And um, on the road, it's very, very difficult to win. And, uh, you know, we're quite humbled to walk out of buildings with wins on the road. And uh, the league's very difficult, and you just don't know, know what's around the corner. So I'm really proud of our guys. They stepped up. They played well across the board. And that um, um, was a good effort for us. Uh, what did you say to Jordan Crawford at um, quarter time? Obviously, he, he struggled at the start there, but they were obviously playing a lot of coverages on him. After that, he scored eight points in a row. So, uh, were you just confident that he was just going to, you know, bounce back really quickly? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't say anything to him. They, they, they know pretty much. Uh, this group knows that I give them quite a lot of uh, freedom offensively. I don't give them as much defensively, but I give them freedom to do what they need to do and play the way um, they're capable and who they are. And I don't want to ever um, constrain someone offensively. So, I had no conversations with them other than. Uh, keep doing what you're doing and push the pace and, and get in the paint and cause some problems. And of course tonight, Clint Stein's 300th game, so a huge achievement for him. Uh, tell us your thoughts on Clint and the leader he is for you. Yeah, I mean, like I've said it already in the last few days, you know, I, he was one of the number one guys that went after to build culture here and to make sure that um, we got it right in the beginning. Um, and um, I just felt like he was ready for another a step when he left Perth. And I thought coming here would be his next journey. And um, they were all on board. and. It's a class act on and off the floor. I think he's quite inspiring to our young guys to see a professional that shows up every single day, how he carries himself. Um, and we had a couple other milestones tonight. We had Shawnee Mack get his 50th game, and we had Jared Barstow get his 100th. So um, a good all-around night for, for us from, from that standpoint. And another big news, obviously, is Magne back on the floor, um, which will be a big help for us as we move forward and he gets his conditioning. Absolutely. And, and Drew, welcome back, of course, to Adelaide. It's nice to have you back here in the city of Chapters, but Bit of an interesting comeback tonight uh, for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always fun to come play your old team. Um, obviously, it's good that we got the win. Um, yeah, like I said, it's always fun to, to come play your old team. It, you know, you have a little bit more energy to, to go out and play. But, um, yeah, it's good to get the win. Dropped a couple of shots in that second half. Felt pretty good to put those down. Yeah, I mean, it's my role on this, on this team. Hit some open shots. So, uh, yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Scott. Yep. Um, I'd just like to highlight Jack McVay uh, dove on the ball If he doesn't jump on the ball, he'll be sitting next to me and won't be playing as much. I hope that sums that up because at the end of the day, uh, the people of Tasmania expect us to be that way. Um, there's a few things that we take no shortcuts on and the energy to play the right way, um, to defend the island, to make sure that we're doing the right thing by the people of Tasmania, um, the grit and grind of what we try to do, whether we're winning or losing. Um, those 50-50 balls and those effort plays are really cornerstone foundational pieces for us. Um, yeah, it's huge. It's obviously a, a huge day in, in our history. Um, so, you know, it's good to recognize that and as we did before the game. Thank you. Hey, Scott. Yes. What do you think your thoughts on Will's game and you know, how important it is to have him back and also the help for, for Marcus Lee and to, to have that, you know, twin tower that's happened together now? Yeah, I mean, so obviously we've been waiting and waiting, and I probably was ready probably about seven or eight days ago, to be quite honest with you, but uh, to get two or three more practices under his belt this week. Uh, but he has no restrictions. Uh, he's good to go. It'll be just more about matchups and his conditioning as he continues to, to go through it. You know, it's a little different than practice conditioning than actually getting into a game. And so um, with no restrictions, we'll play him where we think we can and, and be careful with him. But um, it's great to have another big body out there, a physical, physical guy that knows how to play. and knows the league and um, you know can control the paint for us uh, as he continues to get in shape. But um, great to have him back. And Drew, how are you settling in to this team? And I mean, the culture is such a big thing that, that Scott's driven since he got to, to the Jack Jumpers and he's you know, used Clint to, to help out, as he talked about. But what's it like for you walking into this club and picking up the, the Jack Jumpers culture? Uh, it just. It feels, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm enjoying it. I love it. That's that's the best way I can sum it up. Um, everything just makes sense. Basketball makes sense, and I'm enjoying it. So, yeah. He better have said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've played against Clint for a long time. What's it like now being his teammate and, and captain and to, to be there to celebrate his 300th game tonight? 
yeah, happy not playing against him, uh, especially in those days in Perth when he was running off the uh, the action off the baseline. I got burned a lot of times. Um, yeah, Clint's a huge part of, of what we do and, and what he brings to the team as a captain is, is, is massive. Um, you know, so it was good to, to, to be able to get a win on his on his 300th. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good evening. Thanks, Take care, everyone. Thanks, Thanks. you guys.